This is the second video of a two video series uh, covering the installation of the trailer hitch, which we did yesterday. And today we're going to be installing the wiring harness. So the first thing we want to do to install that wiring harness is to disconnect the negative terminal of your battery. Second thing we do is to fold down the back seats and then move them all the way forward. All right, after the cargo lid is removed, we want to remove the toolbox. And there are just a couple of twist locks that we can unscrew and remove the whole car. The next thing we want to do is to remove this little cover. And uh, this is on the left side of the vehicle. And then there's a storage pocket here that we need to remove. I've already done the latches or the clips, so I wanted to be able to show you how that is done. There are four of them, two on the front side here, one on the outside of the car, and then one to the front of that pocket. And you need to run, reach underneath and pull those clips towards you. And then on this back one, you can reach in from behind it and pull that clip away from the pocket. And then the fourth one, if you reach in from this front here, uh, you can push this back and release the pocket. Okay, so if you have the rear welcome lights, accessory backup sensors, or accessory hands-free access power tailgate, there is another step that you'll need to do here uh, that you can find in the instructions. I don't have those features, so I cannot show you how it's done. All right, then the next thing we want to remove this rear trim panel, and that is just done by pulling up and releasing all the little clip. Okay, go. Now we want to remove the two cargo tie downs. There's one here toward the back of the car and there's another one up towards the front of this side panel. And if we flip the hook up and then come in here with a, a small screwdriver, you can lift up that little cover and then there's a Phillips screw underneath that. And let me grab a screwdriver and we'll move that out. All right, now we'll remove that screw. And then I'll do the same thing with the front one and panel here. Does that come out here? Okay, then there also is one little clip that needs to be pulled out here. That one's going to be a stubborn one, huh? There we go. Maybe. And then there's a little uh, connector back here. The tab, uh, release tabs on the top, and then that will come off. Much. Okay, and then there's also another uh, wire connector down below, and it just pulls off. And we can get the whole panel out of the way. Cool. Okay, the only thing that I had a little bit of difficulty with was the front of this panel down behind or beside the seat uh, was a little bit tough getting it to come off, but uh, I gave it a good yank and I did get the, uh, get the panel off the side. Okay, then we're gonna remove this insulator. 
and that just pulls right out. We've got a control unit. The box of parts that I got did not have the bracket that is shown in the picture. And then we also have the fuse box and uh, it does come with a bracket as well. Just slide that bracket in and then we can start connecting these up. There's a 12 pin gray connector that goes into the control unit. And then there's a 14 pin connector that will connect to your vehicle's wiring harness that together okay the next thing we're going to do is remove this grommet and that's in right in the left rear of the vehicle and that pops right out then we'll install the harness that goes on the back of the vehicle and that goes up there's a grommet on that and that'll go up through the hole that we just removed the grommet from all right, so I've routed the connectors for this wiring harness up through the, the uh, hole. And I'm going to get this grommet seated. And we want to make sure that is nice and tight, which it is right now. And then we've got uh, a connector on that that'll connect to our final connector there and then before we mount the fuse box assembly we're going to put this ground wire in uh, with that uh, connection okay all right so we've run the wiring harness in behind this bracket and then we want to take the two relays and install them Maybe. And then we've got a ground wire which comes up from the bottom. The boat will go through that and mount onto the outside of the bracket. Maybe. There we go. And it uses a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, so we've got everything installed other than this control unit, which I don't have a bracket for. So for the time being, I am just going to leave that lay there. Okay, the first thing I did is to uh, use a utility knife to cut out this little piece of plastic out of the trailer hitch cover and then slide the bracket in and we want to use two bolts and two nuts to secure that. Okay, and then we want to secure that wiring harness to the trailer hitch itself. There is a piece of green tape that's wrapped around the harness and they want you to put the wire tie over that and then up to the trailer hitch itself. Go over the wiring harness that comes from the relay box and it'll hold the wiring to the floor and the back wall and then we've got a zip tie here that will go into the frame and we will wire up the or put the wiring harness through that uh, 
Okay. And then the other piece of aluminum tape will hold the connector in place. On the floor. Okay, well the next step is to go to the front of the car and to put the uh, fuse in place. So we'll take a look at that. All right, let's remove the fuse cover, fuse box cover here. And we've got a 30 amp fuse that goes way on the right side. And then two 20 amp fuses. One goes here. And the other over here. Put the cover back on. And we are good to go there. Okay, well we put the side panel back in here. Um, just pretty much the opposite of the way it came out. Uh, just line it up and press the connectors together push this little storage pocket down into place and then cover up the the uh, gas tank cover release and these back in okay and then on this cover at the bottom there's a couple of little hanger type clips that will go into a slot, hopefully. That's okay on that side. Let me double check the other side. And then press these snap connectors in. And what else? Oh, we got to put this rear trim piece back on. Okay. And I'll put that back in there and grab the toolbox. Tighten those, tighten those two twist locks. And then can you grab that wire for the dash cam? And we'll cover that back up. And so the only thing I need to do is put in this tie down and uh, call it a day. All right, well that wraps up the installation of the trailer hitch and the wiring harness. If you made it this far for the video, I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch. If you liked what you saw, please give me a like and subscribe. Thanks, have a great day.